at three and four, we have Kyler Murray and Deshaun Watson. And when I saw these guys at three and four, I thought to myself, well, that is near. There's no way that that would be the case if Hopkins was on the other quarterback's team. I think that that was the difference maker in, again, splitting hairs between a couple of great options. Jason and I have Kyler at three this year. Mike has him at five. Uh, Mike has Deshaun Watson still at number three, and Jason and I have him at six. So I know, Mike, you've talked to me about Watson and how you believe that he will be forced, he will be backed into uh, the running totals that will, I I assume you believe, uh, exceed 82 for 413 and 7 from last year? Yeah, I'm I'm going to, when we stack guys out, I just off the top of my head, I, it's hard to, for me to see Deshaun Watson not above the 600 yard mark. Like I, I think he will run a lot more. And Brandon Cooks, he's not DeAndre Hopkins, but Brandon Cooks has still been a production monster in the NFL. So even though it, the the tier of the quarterback or wide receiver has gone down, he's still surrounded by by players that can go off every single week with Cooks if Will Fuller somehow stayed healthy like he's surrounded by elite weapons and then the just on top of that having to run a bit more it I'm still very secure with Deshaun Watson being a, a that second tier of quarterback and the and the D Johnson brothers at running back are you know a quarterback's best friend so he can go deep to three different incredible speedsters dump it down to David Johnson or Duke Johnson. Uh, be careful when accepting trades this year uh, in platforms. Are just <laughs> be careful so on your draft. Yes, seriously. Um, I, I, it's I like gonna, Johnson on it's the gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. It will. <laughs> yeah. It, oh my gosh. As far as Kyler goes, um, Kyler's probably going to cost too much for me to have in any league. He'll be drafted as a top five quarterback. There's a chance that Deshaun Watson maybe drops out of that. I mean, he's my quarterback six, so I don't expect him to necessarily be drafted super high, but he he could end up being a value. Kyler finished as the quarterback seven last year in a rookie year where he only threw 20 touchdowns because you have that rushing baseline. Now he gets, if you didn't have Hopkins coming to this team, you would be moving Kyler Murray up from seven based on him taking that leap in his year two. He would probably be a top five guy, but oh, they added DeAndre Hopkins. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's hard to argue against Kyler as the third quarterback off the board. I, I think Kyler will still run for more yards than Watson will. Um, that's he, you know that part of his game moves these guys way up the board. Obviously, yeah. Uh, last year, yeah. There's a theme. It's uh, running quarterbacks. <laughs> One thing that was strange with Watson last year, even with the weapons that he had, is that he did have those kind of down games. And then you knew the next game after would be great, but he did it like five times during the yep. year. And I am a little bit concerned about the passing touchdown totals. I can get behind him being backed into running more often, but I don't know if that will equate to sustained drives for this offense on a regular basis. All those guys staying healthy, losing Hopkins around the goal line. That will be something interesting to watch for Deshaun Watson and whether uh, this team can kind of maintain its offensive prowess if David Johnson has something left in the tank that'll be something to watch and obviously Kyler going into year two oh hey wasn't expecting you thanks for watching the video you should check out the long form the hour check it out subscribe to the fantasy footballers channel